Beyonce. I think she needs to maybe make an appearance. I have not decided yet, but I'm thinking a yes. <laughs> Welcome to another vlog. I am Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. So I just landed in not so sunny California, Oakland, California. Well, yeah, it's kind of overcast the outside. I am with my friends. We are about to hit the road, go to Napa Valley for the weekend to celebrate my friend's 30th birthday. And one of my friends missed her flight this morning. So we have to wait, hang around the airport for about another hour and a half until she arrives. So we're gonna, these two <laughs> are looking for their missing bags at the wrong carousel. But I'm just sitting here chilling. This should be a very interesting weekend. So come along, come along. vlog while she drives so she doesn't vlog and drive. Ah! That was a good one. <laughs> so we finally made it here to Napa. We are headed to our first winery. I think it's called Bubbles. It's really nice out here. It's raining. The weather is chilly and raining and <laughs> didn't really pack that appropriately but we're gonna make the best of the trip. How pretty it is out here. First sip. Let's see. It's a sparkling classic. It's, it's the Brute classic. Which I'll get. That's good. I worked at a few bougie Italian restaurants. You're supposed to swivel the wine in your mouth. It's your girl up, it's your Portia J. What's good, you know? I'm in the Napa Valley. Just kidding. Hello. Hi, I'm Marquette, the classy friend. These characters. Can you look at the time? <laughs> okay, my next personality. <laughs> so really nice and dry, green apple, look more berries on the face. Okay, so Thanks. I could be a vlogger because I'm always like checking myself too much. She's bougie. So I never said I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a makeup toast. Yeah. Me with the most. Yeah. Mess up my flow already, but here I go. Yeah. That's a makeup toast. Yeah. My girl, Shawnee Day, because this her what? 30th mother and birthday. 30th birthday. Then she gave me kind of old. tasting we had four what I said the name of this one was sweet star sweet star I might have to get a bottle of this one it's super good it's a sparkling wine it has a little bit of pineapple in it it's delicious but we have three more days of winery so maybe I'll take my time on my choices alrighty guys Welcome to day two of Sonoma. We are at somebody's winery, I forgot the name, and we're about to do a tour and tasting. It's so beautiful out here. This is another version of Sauv Blanc, and then we can either do a Chardonnay or we can move up to Reds, whichever you ladies would like to do. I want to try a Chardonnay. Yeah, okay, excuse my reach. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yum. So this one's called Soliloquy. And this is, um, Ooh, I like it's pretty fancy schmancy. These are homes that's bordering our property. So the beautiful yellow flowers that you're seeing as you're driving, a lot of them are starting to mow uh -huh. to prepare for bed break, but uh, that's actually wild mustard that flowers. Wow. Oh, and gives us, gives us wow. that beautiful gold. Yeah. This is beautiful. 
beautiful gorgeous out here. We're in, this is a tunnel where all the barrels are. How cool. Shawnee wants to be in the video. Hey guys. What's <laughs> <laughs> the difference between the American barrels and then you said Italian? No. French. 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 <laughs> Well, so when we go around the next corner, you're actually going to taste wine out of each. Okay. So you get to taste it for yourself. Perfect. Yeah, the taste the difference. So the biggest difference is um, just like the grapes, um, it's terroir driven. So terroir is just a fancy name for microclimate and soil type. Okay. So depending on where the tree was grown, what mm -hmm. kind of soil it was in, what kind of environment as far it was as in, the wood it's going to change the flavor. Okay. Yeah. Why this is always stained like yeah, in the middle of the Yeah, I was going to ask that. Yeah, a lot of people are really curious. So, there's lots of different fun stories about wine, depending on what you want to believe. You know, they say that, um, like King Tut, they say he was actually buried with what could be considered a vintage wine because mm -hmm. it did have a date on it and there was a vintner's name on it. Right? Oh. Wow. And then, um, of course, if, if you believe in the Bible, then you're going way back in time, mm -hmm. right? So wine's just been around forever. So the story is, if you want to believe it, is that Napoleon Bonaparte had his wine stash and he would go off to sea for months at a time and he came back and wine was disappearing out of his barrel. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not stealing from Napoleon Bonaparte, <laughs> right? And so uh, he would just start, he would just shoot and kill the, the uh, guards because he's the just guards. setting, he's setting the a president. Yeah. <laughs> he actually gets his family to start watching his wine stash and the wine continued to disappear. Mm -hmm. So he said to himself, I guess the angels are taking Oh, wow. So, wine that naturally is going to evaporate out of barrel, they call that the angel <laughs> share. And then wine is naturally going to seep into the side of the inside of the barrel, we call it the stage. Yeah. They call that the devil's cut. Okay, the devil's so, cut. So, the angels take their share, the devil takes his cut. Sh okay. So, remember in the tasting room we said oxygen is the enemy? Mm -hmm. So, they top it off till it overflows. Until it overflows, and that's why it stains. And that's why it stains. Say hey, hey, hello. You could have yeah. did sister, sister. Um, okay. that's, that's yeah, good that's a good one. I'm going to let you in, but I never really had it down. I'm standing in the light of your halo. I got my angel now. Like a bit of wet again. Every rule I had to break it. It's the risk that I'm taking. I'm never gonna shut you up. Okay, more queen. Okay. Oh my god. I'm your girlfriend right here. Fries, that is. To your French and my American. I do like French fries, that is. We didn't twirl. We let the oxygen out. Okay. Let the oxygen in and the alcohol out. It's good, though. Delicious. Okay, love. We can go out there, like on our way out, and take like pictures not on it, but like in front of it. Of course. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yours tastes more bodied. Mm. Like it's thicker, or I don't really know, but <laughs> it's good. <laughs> like it's drier. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. So when we were saying American or French, they have the American-made wood barrels and then the French made wood barrels. So we have the same wine, but in different barrels, American and French. And you can definitely taste the difference. And it's raining. 
made it to winery wine tasting number two for the day and honestly y'all I'm buzzed I'm buzzed I am buzzed off of all this wine tasting we've been sipping and drinking it's raining and it's cold out here in Napa Valley but I'm doing the best to enjoy myself it's really nice though like it's beautiful views I just wish the weather would have been a little bit better I just had to say that three times to actually say better the correct way <laughs> anywho we're here let's see what they got to offer um, Hall Wines really is a passion project if you will of Craig and Catherine Hall Whereas I think the two of them, you know, really create a, uh, a beautiful synergy for something like all of this. Whereas Catherine is the one who brings the passion for wine. Craig Hall, never the businessman. Plants of the vine out back, so mostly Cab, a little bit of Merlot. We have this vineyard here and a couple other vineyards all throughout town that we own and manage. Not a whole lot going on in the vineyard right now. They're dormant, uh, but bud break right around the corner. And uh, we'll uh, start to see the whole cycle start over again for 2018. It's cold outside. I think he's taking us inside. The views out here are beautiful, but it's cold. <laughs> it's too, it's uh, aged in those oak barrels. So let's say 20% of those grapes never get crushed. Uh, you could press it and squeeze out every last drop, but you're also pressing the bitter tannins from the seeds and the more aggressive tannins from the skins. So That's only the, the juice that flows naturally will get aged in those oak barrels. And eventually we'll press that remaining 20% and we will sell that to the bulk market when not all is lost. And then they stay in barrels for upwards of 26 months sometimes for the big robust cabernet. Oh my goodness, look at how, look how I can't walk. Yeah, I just can never. See, I don't know if I could be a vlogger because all of the cameras are so much. I can't even do that. I can only do only one video. You just have to put so much in that. I can't even do that. I can't. This is good. This is good. Tell them it's a good portion. Pretty girl, yeah. Um, Calistoga um, at Sam's Social Club having dinner. Uh, Marquette bought a bottle of wine for Shawnee for her birthday from the uh, winery we went to earlier. So she just, our server just poured that up for us. This should be a nice time to dinner. The restaurant is super cute. I'm gonna see if I can get y'all some views. That's amazing. amazing. You can go in different seats. Now, look at this deliciousness. I got the mussels and prawns. Marquette got the special of the night. What is it? Prime rib and potatoes? Well done. Well done. Of course, you got the same thing. The Chantrice got the ribeye. Your name is Chantrice. It's Shawnee. <laughs> <laughs> Yumminess. Okay, last day in Napa. 
today's the official <laughs> happy birthday birthday girl. This random guy just walked up to her and was like, who's the birthday girl? He started singing, but it, he sounded awesome. So hopefully this food is good. I didn't look at the menu. I know how I feel about food. This is pretty. This is the entrance to the restaurant. Brunch has arrived. I got a salmon burger. Right there, I got pancakes and eggs. Oh Portia, what you got? French toast? Yes. What's that on top? Ranch. I Has believe it's some green. apples or pears. Some pears. Look at Oh, pears. wow. Look, speaking of the devil. And Chantrice got steak and eggs with potatoes. That looks good, too. And of course, the bellinis. Perfect. So I think we're heading to our final winery. Hopefully final winery. It's supposed to be black owned, so it's called Brown. Let's see. Yeah, but Brown Estate has been around for coming on 22 years. Property was first acquired by Dr. and Mrs. Brown. They're originally from Jamaica and Panama. Yes. Mom and Dad still own the property, um, but the kids run the business. Yeah, so David is still the winemaker. Um, Deneen and Coral uh, pretty much do everything else. So is their last name Brown or where did the name? Yeah, last yeah. name's Brown. Cool. Have you been friends since 2010? Okay, here you go. We've been friends since you all have a year. <laughs> We've been. You need, to, you need to look over here. We've been friends since 2010. I don't like not looking at myself. Well, then you're not going to be looking at them when you're talking. So you need to look over here. Try it again. We've been friends since 2010. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> All done with the wine yards. <laughs> I'll tell I've had so much wine. Vineyards, wineries. We did four while we were here. Two tours and then just two sit downs. But yeah, now we're about to go back to the hotel, take a quick little nap. We have dinner reservations at eight that we're gonna be late for because we've literally been late to everything already. Um, but I'm looking forward to dinner tonight. And then um, we fly out tomorrow back home we yeah, have haters now. we have yeah. haters of the vlog eating rather hardly right now but everything's fine we're, we're getting panting. here at rap four i'm panting um let me know what you guys think i remember rap four. i've taken approximately 28 footsteps the they're trying to make fun of me and my vlogging but that's okay y'all appreciate my vlogs all 1400 of you all you can see this it's right okay now. his fingers are going across my face <laughs> okay i put on a wig let me get some good light so y'all can see what do y'all think? Me with hair. This is me back in like my college days when I actually had hair or wore hair or extensions, weaves, bundles. Actually, bundles wasn't out back then. But tell me what y'all think. <clears throat> Cute? Yes or no? Yes or no? <laughs> Can y'all tell we're having a little bit too much fun? Okay, I'm gonna try on one more. Hold on. Oh, I look like a little barber doll. Okay, see, look. Okay. Okay. Wig number two. Jet black. Side part. A little mini swoop like you did back in the, the, the 2000s. And then bring a little forward. What do y'all think? Alexia with hair. Yes or no? Hit the like button. And I mean, I want a whole bunch of likes. If y'all like these wigs. If y'all think I should grow some hair. Or you think I should keep it natural and not grow any hair. Hit the like button either way. <laughs> Cute. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, I might have to wear.
waiters tonight. Oh, but then one of them won't have no hair. <laughs> Last dinner of the trip at Torque. Of course, we're late for our reservations again. But hey, life goes on. But anyways, they, so when they had prohibition, this is, they tore down the water tanks and they actually built the barn for the Clydesdale out of this because they went to dairy production. Uh -huh. And then when InBev bought it, uh -huh. they tore the whole thing down. And this guy from Petaluma, like 30 miles across the, uh, the hills over there, he went and bought all the wood because he does all reclaimed wood. So that's my, wow. my Anheuser-Busch story. I don't drink the beer though, but <laughs> yeah. I bought the wood. Yeah. Yeah. So. I got yeah, scallops. Okay. And I'm waiting on... I think my mac and cheese, yeah. This Thank is you. very good though. I love this presentation. Hey, Porsche. <laughs> so I was sent this beautiful outfit by Big Boutique. And y'all know I'm working on my 30 for 30, so I gave it to Portia. This gray crop top and the skirt to match. Super cute. Porsche made it awesome. Thanks, love. Okay, guys, vlog is over. We had a nice time in Napa. I'm gonna drop these lovely ladies off at the airport and I'm gonna head on about my business. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I, I, like I do not like this. <laughs> bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Till next time. Bye. Party with party. Party and party and ride.